Hey YouTube, back again with uh, another knife review. Just picked up um, an interesting piece from uh, uh, Hawthorne Cutlery. Uh, very cool uh, people uh, uh, over on Hawthorne Boulevard here in Portland. Um, something called the Alishowitz, made in Germany. And from the serial number on the back, this model is pocket knife large model number 104172 g10 with uh ambiona inlay so there's the g10 in black and this wood is something called m amboina m amboina not sure how to pronounce that but i'll have to look that up uh but it's very it's very pretty and um uh, uh, appears to be uh, extremely well made. This was a used knife uh, that uh, they had and uh, uh, he sold it to me for a hundred dollars. Um, but it follows the uh, my collection criteria of having some wood on the handle so that uh, that uh, uh, checked off right away. Uh, and then secondly, it's very, uh, very uh, handsome as a gentleman folder. And on the blade here, it, uh, it says uh, stamped or uh, laser etched first production run number 899 of 2000, which is pretty cool. Alishowitz and logo and the word cryo hardened underneath the name. And made in Germany, Solingen, Germany, where my Dovo straight razor is made. Uh, really, really uh, uh, pretty, really beautiful. Looks like uh, aluminum or steel liners. And the lock, the lockup is pretty early. I mean, it looks like no more than 15. 10 15 percent uh, and then it locks up but it's extremely sharp uh, I was just testing it the other day and it's extremely sharp uh, and uh, for a used blade it looks looks pretty much uh, brand new I forgot to ask him um, situation of who it came from if they'd carried it if they'd u ever used the blade uh, uh, I was just sort of lost in the moment of uh, looking at the selection at Hawthorne Cutlery crazy selection at Hawthorne Cutlery uh, if if you ever get a chance to visit Hawthorne Cutlery on uh, Hawthorne in Portland Oregon it is crazy in there everything from uh, custom, really beautiful custom high-end uh, handmade blades uh, from local uh, master smiths to um, they had some William Henry knives in there uh, that were like $800 for a single pocket knife. Uh, pretty phenomenal and some of the uh, custom fixed blades that were even higher uh, over a grand uh, plus a lot of kitchen cutlery, um, Damascus blade cutlery Samurai swords, they had some really interesting um, fixed blade uh, neck knives from Japan made from, uh, uh, I, I don't know what kind of steel, but they were really uh, unusual uh, designs. But uh, definitely worth um, a trip if, uh, if, if you're into collecting knives. Um, anyway, pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, they had a companion piece where it was carbon fiber inlay, but, um, I, I only just picked up the, the wood inlaid, um, model because of my own silly sort of rule about, um, the type of knives I would collect, even though I've broken that rule a couple of times already. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the review, uh, and, uh, I'll keep them coming as I, uh, find new pieces and, um. Yeah, uh, thanks again for tuning in.